Welcome everybody to RVT. This is RVT, my chief video kid. Look at Jackson Arm JC, my chief music box center. Now my chief arm man coming on live on social media, YouTube, and other social media platforms. How you guys doing? I'm glad you guys are here. Boy oh boy oh boy, man. Happy holidays to all you guys, you know? I'm in the middle of getting something working here. So please just be here with me. Y'all know how it is. It's uh, one of those picture ups. Just sit back, relax, and let's see what we can get into. You know, welcome to my house. Dude. And around here, in these here parts, uh, celebrating the Christmas holiday is a necessity. So just sit back, relax, and uh. Let me give you an air for Enjoy the nice picture on the screen there. And, um, and let's do it, you know? Let's do it. I was just thinking, well, that's the thing I was just thinking about, so I can't remember what it is. As like, soon as I come on the air, I forget about what it is. Just like that, you know. You know, you you come across, you, you try to do the right thing in the world. You try to do the right thing. Then you get people that come on like talk shows and stuff and try to, you know, say something. If you got to say something, just say it. My name is Rashid, you know. RVT is the station. If you want to say, you got something to say, just say it. You know, you come on talk shows and you're... And you do these things, and it's like, well, I, I'm not bitching or nothing. I just, you know, I guess that's why nobody can come out and say they like Rashid out in the open. Hey, I like Rashid. You know, nobody can do that, because that's too, that's too adult for every fucking body. So I dig that shit. So they want to, you know, listen to me, keep me a, a, a secret, and that's fine. That's fine also. But it's just amazing when you see people come on talk shows and stuff. And they doing it for a reason. Or what? Well, you got something to say? Say it. You know. Oh well. Everybody can't be adults. You know, it's a very hard thing to do. I guess that's why I'm like this around here. No offense, but it is offensive. No, it's just a trick, man. You don't want to argue because I'm not an argumentative person by far. But you know they're signifying you, and you know that people are doing stuff because of you. And yet, why you ain't saying my name? Why you ain't saying it? You, you know, nobody, nobody doing a fucking thing, dude. Nobody doing a fucking thing. So if I'm not even gonna feed into it, man. We ain't doing shit. You ju you feel like you justify yourself? By doing things, go ahead and justify yourself. It's not gonna mean shit if you ain't saying nobody name. You know, you ain't dressing nobody, so you ain't justifying much. But if you wanna think you are, you know, there's no laws against it. Yeah, that's what I mean, you know. Ain't shit changing around RVT. Not a goddamn thing. I got everything like this for a reason. And then nothing's changing. Nothing. So, yeah. Yeah, we're going to get worse. You got that right, sweetie. We're going to get a lot worse. We didn't start yet. So, you know, you're going you're gonna to get these kind of sign significations when you're in the business, you know, of, of people trying to say this or that. And these celebrities themselves, so they should know better. 
you know. I don't give a fuck what y'all like. I don't like a lot of things too. That's why I'm correcting shit around here. That's why I'm correcting shit. It ain't my fault. That's why shit getting corrected on RV to put anything the right way the way it's supposed to be. And, and a lot of anger in t- in comes forth when you do that. Yeah, but that's not our problem. That's not our fault. Yeah. One of those things, y'all, y'all know. One of those things. But needless to say, let's move on with some shit, guys. We ain't got time for these people that just hate us so much. You know, they can't stand our fucking ass, dude. Because we ain't partaking in their guerrilla warfare. You know what I'm saying? We're not partaking with their guerrilla warfare. They're on that on their own. And they just hate us so much because of that. They really do. Jesus was not lying when he said we'll be here. He, he was not kidding, dude. They can't stand our ass. Well, the next vine is right beside you. Go swing from it and go the right fuck to someplace else. That's all he can say. Can't say shit else about it. It's not funny, sweetie. You're laughing and shit. You're serious. They get these hating ass people, dude. Just trying to make a statement. If you got something to say, say it. You know, what you, what you, you know, pulling rabbits out hats and shit. Don't worry, I got time for that David Copperfield fucking shit, dude. I ain't gonna do that. I don't want to make Rashid famous. Oh, bitch ass shit. I don't even want to talk about it. Regular old baby fucking Huey. I can dig that shit. It's just, you know, y'all guys gotta forgive me, you know. Please forgive me. Um, my Rashi B's, I ain't asking y'all for y'all forgiveness, cause y'all know who I am. And y'all know how we go down around here. Yeah, we don't tolerate shit. And we're gonna get these hating people that just can't stand us for no reason. Ain't doing nothing bad, just for no reason, just can't stand us. But y'all understand how Rashid is, you know. It takes a village. You know, it takes a whole village to da 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 da. But, but what about me? The village didn't give a fuck about me. So that's why I'm like this. So here you go. Uh. It's that simple. Needless to say, guys, <clears throat> nonetheless, won't well, give a fuck about us. And yeah, needless to say, I have. I'm telling you, give me just a few. Lo- I just finished the show, guys. I'm just. I just finished the show. So I got a really nice show for us, man, for the holiday season. A really fucking nice show for us. Just the time for the holiday season. And guys, just know that I'm doing it for us, the Rashid lovers. Just know that. Because I know around you, you got these Rashid haters and everything. Don't pay them no attention. They're just watching. They're just watching. You know, the congregation said people going to come in God's house just to have their ears tickled, their ears scratched. You know, people just, they not going to understand. It's like that fucking shit. They all the ones who like all our pretty things, but they don't know what it means. They don't know what it means. They are the ones who like all our fucking shit, but they don't know what it means. It's just like that. It's like that, dude. Straight up. It's just like that. So. Don't even feed into that shit, man. Don't even know what they looking at. As long as they looking at something, I suppose. I guess that that's something. I guess I'm 
putting sugar on their life in some way, and that's good. But they don't know what it means. They don't know what it means. They are the ones who like all our pretty stuff. And they like to sing along. And they like to shoot their guns. But they don't know what it means. Straight the fuck up. Right on point with that. I don't know shit we about what's going on, but we're out here smiling and shit. That's all right. That's okay. That's all right. We're doing these shows trying to make statements, but nobody's saying nothing. You ain't saying nothing. You ain't saying a goddamn thing, dude. They are the ones who like all our pretty stuff And they like to sing along And they like to shoot their guns But they don't know what it means They don't know what it means And I say they are the ones who like all the funny stuff and they like to sing along, and they like to shoot their gun, but they don't know what it means. Right on point with that shit. Swear to God, dude. Jesus said you're forgiven. Because we sure are there. So welcome everybody. Welcome everybody, man. We just sit here and just... Uh, and I shouldn't... My manager said, don't watch it. Don't go on the air right after we finish watching this. Because you ain't going to know what to say. And I said we take a chance anyway. You know, your feathers get ruffled. You can't help but just express it in some way. Like, you know, like, the fucking, you know. It's the holiday season. Act like it, you know? It's like that. Why are you coming off being a damn prick or asshole? It's the holiday season. Chill out. You know? You ain't gotta act that way. You really ain't gotta act that way. Be happy. No, it's kind of like it's kind of like you gotta fight for your happiness this year. I'm all for that. I'm all for that. Got some good shows for us, man. I'm, fi I'm glad that we finished this one show. <coughs> the um, retro show. I'm glad we finished that. That was fun to do. The only thing that was a little long. It was a little long. That retro show was a little long to do. But. Well worth it. Well, well worth it. Yeah!
bringing some holiday spirit around here because I know y'all upset about some shit y'all going through, you know. These people walk around here with thermometers up their ears and, then, and their mothers forgot to pull it out. And they grow up like that, fucking walk around like some some kind of shit going on. It ain't my fault the mom left the thermometer up your ass. It ain't our fault. It ain't our fault. It ain't our fault. Take that shit right the hell someplace else, man. Why the world have no names? Why the world have no names? <laughs> it was where the street, why the streets have no names? In our case, it's where the world have no names. <laughs> Aha! Where the world have no names and shit. Bruce Springsteen type shit. That's alright. That's alright. Could be worse. Could be worse, dude. So. I forgot there's no button on here to, to raise the sound. There's no but there's no switch on here to raise the sound, sweetie. What the fuck are we doing? That's not an effect. I don't know how to work this. Um, damn. I don't know how it works. Yet. I don't know. Oh, okay, here it is, right here. Is that Dolby right there? Let's see how I saw. Let me see something. Oh, here it is. Look. Left, right. Let's try this one. Let's see. That's it. <laughs> they don't laugh. We're going to blow their ears off when we put this up. Yup, that's it. Oh, that's it. Yup, 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 that's it. God. That's really fucking loud. Alright, we'll go down about that much. I want them to hear any fucking way. Alright. Well, leave it like that. So it's right there. And we'll adjust it when they go over. Okay. Let me see. Alright. Uh, how do we. Pro I'm just getting this show together. This is the show, guys. I'm working on it while I'm on the air. Uh, let me see. File export right here. Wave. Okay, let's give us a shot. So, you know, I was looking at these items that was number one for Christmas. And how social media is the number one thing on people's lists. They're not going to admit that, guys. By the way, they're not going to admit that. That social media is the number one thing. <clears throat> Requested this year. They're not going to admit it. They're going to whip out toys and shit and say certain toys. Did you believe that? 
鬼似的放。They must be strict households, whatever these toys are for. They must be some strict ass households. Because from what I understand, social media is the number one thing now. Okay? And, uh, it's been that way. It's been that way. Wait a minute. Um, we gotta stop that first. Let's make sure it's in the right folder. Let's make sure it's in the right folder right here. And now when you go look at, like, they still don't, like, what's number one this year for, you know, like, the everybody that, that's selling off the shelves. And they still count down toys. And nobody don't even know what the hell they talking about. They are such a fucking liar. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If they do have toys, the toys come with some kind of CD or something that, you know, like... You know, like... You can plug the toy into the computer or your phone. It's not going to be just your toy. I swear. We live well. The thing is, we live in an age where nobody wants to give no credit out to people that really deserve credit. You know? And social media is one of them. You just don't want to give social media no props. You know, like. This shit is really, you know, like. Here, it's like. It's taking over. It's the number one thing that everybody wants every year is a plasma TV and a cell phone. They're not going to come out and just say that. Like, you know, they're going to just put something in this place or, you know, they're not. This is the era where nobody wants to give credit when credit is due. And it's sad it has to be that with this. You know, it's really sad it has to be this way. Why does everything have to be done the hard way? You know what I mean? I think that was kind of funny when I said it, though. It takes a village to raise a child. Well, in my case, the village didn't get fuck about. I think that's... <laughs> Shit. No doubt. And then you go turn around and just get rid of the holiday season. We don't want Christmas this year. All these Grinches walking around. I don't understand that. I don't. I really don't understand it. And on top of that. The holiday season is supposed to be a happy time. On top of that, it's supposed to be a happy time. Put it all together. And I swear. <laughs> and I swear to God, man. We put it together. You got so much bullshit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So much bullshit. But you know, who am I to argue if that's the way things are? You know, I'm not gonna raise no spectacle over it if that's the way shit is. I'm not going to do it. People know what they want to see in entertainment. They want to, They know who they want to see. 
on a red carpet. They know who they want to see on a silver screen. They know who I mean, people are not stupid. Yet. They ain't going around treating people like they are. <clears throat> and that's all right. That's all right. All that stuff. All that They got this, um, they got this James Bond, uh, movie coming out that looks really good, though, with the black chick in it. The black chick is 007, but it's not like she took James Bond's place. It looks good. It looks like a really good fucking James Bond movie. Now, No Time to Die, something like that, No Time to Die. That looks like a fucking good movie, dude. I swear to God. That looks like a good movie, man. So, you thought, I thought James Bond was a black woman. And 007 is a black woman. It is a black woman, but it's not like what you thought. Like. So, we stand corrected on that. But people still are saying they made the movie for no re for, for they waste their time because people ain't going to go see it because of that. Because... You still got a black woman in it. It's double on seven. So they say they made the movie. It's like a... Yeah, it's a waste of time. I think that's going too far. I just think it's going too far. It looks like a damn good movie, dude. You know, I'm the only motherfucker who... I'm the only person... Who will actually come out and tell the truth about James Bond movies. You know, I think I'm the only person who will be straight up about it. You know, you got these people around here to go to the movie theater and look at shit. And they, they swear they have it all together when they look at a movie. Who the fuck can understand a James Bond movie? For real. For real. I could name on my hand the James Bond movies which I understood. The rest of the James Bond movies, I guess, sweetie, we just fucking stupid. Just, just keep it real. We're just fucking stupid. I could name on my hand the James Bond movies we understood. We understood. For your eyes only, it's got to be one of the number one James Bond movies they made where a child could understand what's going on. All the way through it with Roger Moore. All the way through it was for your eyes only. Octopussy was kind of understandable. Octopussy was kind of... The rest of them died another day and all that. I didn't really see them. But I do know James Bond movies are very fucking hard to understand. I mean, it's like Monopoly game. It's like... If you never played Monopoly... <coughs> if you never played Monopoly... They're very, you know, it's like you're looking at a Monopoly game. Like, what the fuck is going on here? That's a James Bond movie. I mean, they're very difficult to understand. And I have yet seen somebody came out and say this shit. But, yeah, I play the game. You play the, the people game. Walk around here like you're a, a James Bond fan and shit. And, you know, goddamn well, you don't understand no... Um, the spy who shagged me and all that. She don't understand what the fuck going on. I try my best to understand it. And I still don't understand what's going on. I mean, there's certain parts in there that will lead you on and say, okay, I think I'm, I understand it now. But for the most part, dude, it's, it's, you understand how every James Bond movie, you want smart son of a bitch. That's all I got to say about it. You watch it for the action sequels, the sequences, and the explosions. But when it comes to the storyline, it's very fucking... And For Your Eyes Only was one of the only James Bond movies that I really understood all the way through. That Octopussy. And probably another one. The rest of them, man, good luck on that shit. Good luck on that. UK just proving how smart British people are. You know, because when you look at James Bond, you think of it as a, like it's an American fucking thing. When it's not. 
they just showing how smart British are. They just some smart sons of bitches. And they can make a movie that will really fuck your head up if they want to. Thank God they need That we understand um, some of the movies they make. Thank God we understand them. Because some of them do. It's like, um, I don't know how the fuck I'm going to understand this movie. And that's James Bond movies. They're very difficult to understand. Very. When you got people walking around here like this and like that Star Wars shit. That's difficult to understand. It used to be difficult to understand. But Star Wars is difficult to understand now. Especially the people like me who let it go and don't want to see. Yeah, we don't go and we don't have no interest in seeing the rest of that shit. Like I said, my shit stopped in Return of the Jedi. They all they can have all that other shit. Nobody care about it around here. Nonetheless, it's still a hard fucking shit to understand. There ain't nothing wrong with saying a movie hard to understand. You ain't gotta act like a, like you smart and shit. That shit played out. You can't you see everything over? Why you still walking around acting like a dick? And that's what pisses me off about shit. Because people got added to a Rashid and I'm laughing at you because you walk around here acting that daughter acting that sex shit. Man, I ain't even trying. I don't really want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk about it, dude. Anybody playing games and shit? Well, I got puppers on my damn show. Like Leon Spence said, everybody laughing at me, but I'm going right to the bank. Oh, that's Iron Monkey's a real shocker. Okay. And that was loud, dude. So we gonna close this down. Take it all day to do this shit. Yeah, you can stop this. Take off forever downloading this shit. This shit take forever to download some of this stuff. That's why we ain't got no Christmas this year, because everybody walking around acting this way, you know. Now here come a James Bond movie, and nobody gonna understand any fucker. He say, oh, it's a black girl in there. I don't understand. You ain't understand any fucker. Shut up. You ain't understand any Who you fooling? You ain't fooling nobody. <laughs> I guess somebody might. I don't know, but... You ain't gonna no, I ain't gonna that shit anyway. That's British intelligence. You ain't gonna understand that shit. Britons don't even understand it. They British. Australians might understand it. Sometimes I hear Australians, I think they're British. Sometimes I hear British, I think they're Australian. They might understand it. They some ruthless people there. They understand any fucker thing. And the thing about Australians, you think they nice people, but they are, they some ruthless fucker, they don't give a fuck about you, they don't give a fuck a, they don't give a fuck about you, they don't care, they don't give a shit. He said, yeah, put a shrimp on the barbie, huh? Put a shrimp on the barbie. You put a shrimp on the barbie, they ready to kick your ass. Something wrong with them motherfuckers, dude. Who told you to do that? He said, put a strip on. Who told you to put a strip on the Barbie, Mike? I just put a strip on the Barbie. That's what you supposed to do. I didn't tell you to put a strip on the Barbie. Did I tell you to put a strip on the Barbie, Mike? You said, but that's the song, you put a strip on the Barbie. But I tell you, put a strip on the Barbie. Did I tell you that, buddy? That's Australian shit. Those people are crazy. The 
and you try to be friends. I've been friends with a UK. I've been friends with a British. <coughs> I've been friends with. In other words, if you friend, if you make friends with Australia, you good. You good, dude. You are, you are, you real good. I've been married to a Japanese bitch, dude. The Australians, you can't make friends. You can't break bread with them, dude. I swear to God. I don't know what's up with that. It ain't funny either. They the hard people to, to be friends with. The Australians, they tough there. They, I don't know. I don't think I want to know. I don't know. Oh, shit. I guess it's the way they call their history is. I don't know their history. I don't know. I don't know their history. So. Maybe it's because of what they've been through or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, we had a bad history too, but we still friendly for Christ's sake. Jesus Christ. I'm just trying to be a friend, dude. I don't need a bloody friend, mate. He probably said, take that shit right to, take, you wanna be my friend? You take that shit right to that London, that, um, that, that, um, England, British, take it to Britain. You wanna be a friend. They the motherfuckers right there. Uh, take it to Russia. But Russia cut your throat if you didn't, you know. But Australians, they kind of rough there and try to be their friend, I don't and I've been, and I'm a pretty nice guy. I'm a pretty fucking nice guy. So I just don't understand. I just I just don't understand. I don't understand. I'm a pretty nice. I'm a decent guy. But obviously, I I can make people upset for some reason. Some spiritual reason. Maybe God will tell me one day. And it's going to be like Dorothy for the Wizard of Oz. Oh, I had to go snap my heels together. And then people would start liking me and I didn't know that. Probably God, Jesus, probably all you do is hunt your back over my sheet and swing your arms back and forth. That's all you had to do. And they started like, and I said, that's all I had to do, Lord. It's all like Wizard of Oz. All you had to do was swing your arms back and forth, punch your back over. When you talk, fold your middle fingers inward and let your two fingers hang down. And then they would have liked you. Now they'd be like, is that what it was? And Jesus be like, that's all you had to do. And, every, and you would have got a million subscribers and YouTubers would have talked to you. You probably would have been in that streamy bullshit, too. That homosexual thing. That homosexual show. You would have been on that, too. And that's all you had to do is tuck your fingers in, hunch your back over, and... Act street. Act get, you know, and, you, and like money. I'm like, Jesus, that's a lot of things to do just to be have friends. You know, well, you want friends, that's what you got to do on social media. You got to do Oh, well. <laughs> Damn. It's still the holiday season, so no matter how you look at it, guys, enjoy yourself. If you don't want to enjoy yourself, then this ain't the world for you because it's Christmas, and you got to enjoy yourself, guys. 
You got to. If you don't, then you waste your time here on the planet Earth like Moses did. You don't want to be Moses. This is the most beautiful time of the year. But do you feel like that? I guess that's the big question we have to ask ourselves when we wake up in the morning. Do we feel like that? Only unless you got your bathroom to yourself. I feel good. I feel festive. All you got to do is go out there. There's so many activities going on all around the city. I mean, there's a lot of activities going on all around the city. I mean, a whole lot. I don't necessarily know how the people are going to act because we indoor people. We just, we don't like going outdoors. But there's a lot of activities going on, guys, that you can go out and partake of and really get in the holiday spirit with other individuals like yourself who wants to enjoy the holiday season. a lot of activities going on that that doesn't require spending money I may add also I'm just an indoor person you know I just stay in you know I, I love the indoors when I was younger I used to, I liked the indoors when I was younger but I stayed out too much when I was younger I mean on the weekend you couldn't catch me inside but now since social media is here, I'm into my arts. I find a, a, a great delight in staying indoors now. Being a broadcaster and all, you gotta like the indoors. Unless some people do their broadcasting out in the street. But I find great comfort with being indoors and broadcasting. Doing art material. Making movies. If I gotta go outside make a movie, I go outside and make a movie. But I'm really not an outdoor person no more. If if times were different the way they used to be, I guess I would be. Yeah, we would like going out. Now that life changed, I don't like going out too much no more. You know, it's it's just too ghetto now for me to just go out and just enjoy myself. And I've been, I was brought up in the projects. I'm not, I'm not from the projects. I was brought up in it. And we, we really don't like this ghetto mystery that's going on right now. But we have to tolerate it. So, I don't care where you are, you, you see ghetto ness, you know. It's rare that you can go in a part of a city or whatever and, and not see no, nothing ghetto. And I just... I can't fuck with it, man. I can't. I can't fuck with the ghetto this that's going on. You know. I just can't fuck with it, man. 
You can make your inside the environment exactly the way you want it to be. You know. And that's what I do. That's what I do. That's what I do, man. So now it's like a win-win because you're getting what you want because the inside is the way you want it. The outside, you can't do nothing about the outside, but the inside where you dwell at, you can do something about it. Open your bedroom, even if it got to be in one side of your bedroom. It can be the way you want it to be. And that's what I focus on. And y'all Rashid Katiz know that. And I try to tell y'all that. Because we ain't got to put up with this shit. We all know that. We ain't got to put up with this shit. We can really have a nice time, you know. There's other ways to have a nice time and happen to um, submit, succumb to what the world doing. And what the world doing right now, it ain't really kosher, you know. Not celebrating and wanting to just walk around pinch-faced and robbing yourself of the holiday spirit. But uh, surprisingly, most people want this. That's what they want. So... You watch shows now, and there's, there's no talking about Christmas on it at all. It doesn't necessarily have to be that way. It really doesn't. Though things seem that way, it doesn't have to be that way. It's in our hands. We have the power to create and control our environment. We have the power to do that. And it's a shame that not too many people want to do that. So we trap with individuals or whatever who just want to just waste. Waste. And that's a hard pill to swallow. That's a hard pill to swallow. But it's something to be happy about because because of social media we have the opportunity to to build our world. And display our world to our subscribers. In my case, you, Rashid B, my Rashid Gatir. And we're a group around here. You know, we're a group. You get some people on social media who call the audience something. All of a sudden, it's just sprouted up. You know, it's just all of a sudden, this shit just sprouted up. People want to call the audience something, and that's fine. All of a sudden, it's just sprouted up. But when I watch their videos and they and they say that, I don't feel like that. I don't feel like I'm part of the audience when they say that. It's like I know they're talking to me. I just don't even know when they call the audience something. And what I'm trying to say here on RVT, what I'm trying to say to you guys, particularly my subscribers, never feel that way. I'm trying to break through to you. And if you follow me from the beginning, you will know what I'm talking about. I'm trying, don't you ever, ever feel that way about me, my subscribers. See, you subscribe to me. And when you do that, you're saying something to me. 
and you're showing me something. So it was always going to be a week. So I don't never, when I call you my Rashid Gatir, is once you become that when you're my subscriber. And you also have Rashid Gatir if you want to subscribe to me but can't because of an ape or gorilla nearby who's breathing on you and shit like that. I consider you a Rashid Gatir also. Because I know that's, that's going on also. So I see you also. But the but what I'm trying to say is when I call you my Rashi Gatir or my Rashi Bees, I want you to know that's sincere. I'm not fucking around with you. I'm not gonna come out and say I love you guys. I'm not gonna do that because I don't know you. That's how sincere I am. I'm not gonna say that. I'm not saying that people that say it on um, social media are lying to you because they might really love you guys but I'm the type of person that I don't want to lie to you guys I just I don't want us to have that kind of relationship where okay Rashid told a lie or he told something that wasn't true I don't want us to have that kind of relationship that's why I curb me talking about the news I, I, I curb that down because there's a lot of nonsense in the news today well, you don't know what's the truth and what's not the truth. So when I call you my Rashi Bees or my Rashi Katers, I want you to know that's real. I want you to feel it. I want you to really fucking feel it. And I'm going to say it like that. It ain't no just me calling you that and you sitting back subscribed to me and you sitting back going, oh, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. No, I don't want you to feel that way. I want you to really feel like we are a group around here. That's the way I want you to feel. And I'm going to keep on working on you until you feel that way. It's the holiday season, and we're enjoying it right now around here. And that's all that matters. And this goes out to my subscribers. The people that want to subscribe to me but can't subscribe to me because of some bad person that's around. And the people that want to subscribe to me but they're not a Googler or YouTuber so they can't. And they don't know how to become one. I'm talking to you guys. In particular. People that like me and don't want to subscribe to me, that's kind of a different story. I'm trying to, I'm not saying I'm trying to win them over as a subscriber. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is I don't understand that. I don't, I, I just, yeah, that's the point. I'm not trying to say this and the other. It's just I don't understand it. If you like me, then you like me. Then you subscribe to me. How you gonna like somebody and don't subscribe to them? Well, I got people on YouTube that I like, but I don't subscribe to them. So do I, so the question is, do I really like them? Okay, I mean like some things about them, but not enough to subscribe yeah, to subscribe to them. Well, I mean like them enough to view their videos. But not subscribe to them. A lot of people are looking at me like that. Well, they're the ones that have to put up with me addressing my subscribers as Rashi B's and Rashi Katir. And that's it. You see the point? I got nothing to say, that. I'm not saying this, that, and the other. But in order to fill me, you have to show me. It's like, if you come to me and say, Rashid, subscribe to me and I'll subscribe to you, I'll do it. When I first came on the air, I didn't do that. I said, I only subscribe to people that subscribe to me. That's the way I came about when I first came on the air. I changed that when I learned about other people's situations. That's when I changed. So now I was like, okay, I subscribe to people even though they don't subscribe to me. Because I like them. It doesn't matter how they feel about me. I like them. So I subscribe. That's how I do things, yeah.
I'm a different person than I'm older than when I first came on the air. You know. So, okay. But just put up with the fact that I dress my uh, Rashid Kateers and my Rashid Bees. You gotta put up with that. And just understand, you know, if you wanna feel that, then you gotta join the Rashid group, the Rashid club. And that's by subscribing. And if not, you don't wanna feel that. When I say Rashid Kateers and Rashid Bees, then you can just, okay, I know he's not talking to me. You could just continue like that. It's just amazing that, you know, like, you got to have some kind of hook in order for people to like you. They even like you and you don't. See, I'm a complicated case. I'm a complicated case because I'm multi-talented, so I'm going to get a lot of jealousy and all of this shit. And I've been going through that my whole life. But I'd be damned if I go on social media, come on social media and go through it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it on social media. I want something different for social media. I want something different. I want something different. Something I... I ain't going to say I never had. But something is just different than what I had. It's a difference. Yeah, so... That's what I'm trying to develop around social media. And that way, later on, you will say, okay, Rashi, I completely understand why you did shit this way. Because now, I'm going to invite my subscribers here, I'm going to invite my subscribers there, and they can come out, they get free t-shirts and shit. Okay, now they understand. That's what it's all about. It's like it's, I'm a spider spinning my web but I'm not fin yeah, I'm not yeah, we're not finished spinning out I'm not finished spinning um <clears throat> it's gonna take a while to build this company. It's gonna take a while. And plus at the same time do content that's appealing to you. It's gonna take time to do all of this. That's why for your part I ask for your patience. And if all of a sudden I disappear to be patient with me until I come back. You know, that means there's some shit happening. And you know I'll let you know what it is when I come back on the set. Because anything can happen in this world, man. Any fucking thing can happen. The batteries, hold on, let me plug this up so my phone won't shut off. Oh, I am straight. Well, you feel like crap, you know, because some YouTubers are, are popular and you're not and all. But you gotta understand how the how the thing works. You know, they making themselves that way. You know, the other YouTubers making them that way. But you gotta ask yourself, is it that way? They're just a group of people, dude. When you look at it, it's just a group of people. You got your group of people. If you have a YouTube channel with your subscribers, that's your group of people. You see what I mean? So just because that group of people hailing them up and doing this for them and this and that, that doesn't make it reality. I mean, it's their reality, but is it your reality? Our reality is under our feet where we at on this planet Earth. Not over on Bob's yard, backyard, over Diane's backyard, or wherever. Our reality is where we dwell at. And that's something that people have to realize and not get upset when you see other successful uh, platforms rising or whatever. Because you got to ask yourself, this, if this is what people want to see, then it's like, shit, you know, it's like, damn, then, you know, you don't want to disrespect nobody and say nothing about the material, but why should you get upset, you got, I mean, they definitely not a threat to you, you know, you got to look at it like that, look at it for what it is, you know, you're better than that, dude. if you get upset, 
over some nonchalant shit like that, then that makes them better than you. They are women. If you know something bullshit, then why should they why should you worry about it? It's bullshit. You got you got you wanna enjoy your holiday season too, you know? You gotta enjoy your holiday season, man. This only come around once a year and when it's gone and you follow these gorillas and not celebrating your shit, they gonna look at you and smile. You ever see that monkey with those tambourines in his hand and he back in nineteen thirty, nineteen fifty or some shit like that? And he slapped those tamarines together and slapped them. Then when he finished, he smiled at you. That's all you're going to see when it's over. That's all you're going to see. And they took all your happiness away. And you stuck with that monkey with the tamarines. That's what you want? Go ahead. Because everybody going there. Everybody going right there. When the holiday season all over, you're going to turn aside. And they're going to look at you and smile just like that. Congratulations, that fucking thing got you. They got you, dude. They got you. Now, you're going to continue to be angry and upset every day, all the way to the summertime, with that fucking eat. It just don't make no sense. I'm not feeling you guys. I'm not feeling them. I'm not I'm not feeling none of this bullshit. None of it. But, none of that, that's what you want. Fine. You know, fine. It just don't make no fucking sense. Why do we put that shit in there? Not every Christmas was all peachy keen for me either, you know? Not every Christmas was. It was one Christmas I wanted to go by so fucking quick. I was a cab driver, I think. And I was ignoring it like a motherfucker, man, because I was going through something. So I feel that, okay, I don't want to celebrate this year, but you got to do it for yourself. You don't follow the world, dude. You following the world, and the world don't give a fuck about you. And that's the part I don't understand, that part right there. You ain't part of shit. You really think you're part of shit, okay? Alright, we'll see. Let time go by. We'll see how much you're a part of shit. Ain't nobody a part of nothing, dude. It's the rich against the poor. How the hell are you a part of something? Is that something? I just see. I ain't got my rag doll. On the screen, and I feel a certain way. That and R. Rabbit. I got another R. Rabbit picture. I'm just picking out a um a time to show you guys. But I got I'm going to switch R. Rabbit to showing from showing y'all pictures of R. Rabbit. I'm going to switch that to another fucking avenue. Cause I think y'all saw enough pictures. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I think y'all saw. Yeah, I think y'all saw. They saw enough pictures. And I said that shit was going to go on and on and on. But I think y'all saw enough pictures. I'm going to switch it to something else. I'm going to switch it to something else. Because we're going to draw R. Rabbit in another way now. And I think this way is going to be more convincing of how we enjoy R. Rabbit now. I think so. R. Rabbit is about to get a reboot. How about that? I'm learning the animation and doing martial arts anime. Not really martial arts, but fighting. That animation right there takes a lot. It's really difficult to make than just drawing a person walking down the street. When it's combat animation, it's a lot of work involved. So I'm learning that. You know, so it's taking a while. Because R. Rabbit is really our first one like that. 
That's the Mighty Raj. Mighty Raj is like that, but it ain't that real. Yeah, it ain't like real, like somebody else just as good as you type shit. Yeah. In some cases it is, but some cases it is. I know we all miss Mighty Raj, you know? We all miss that. It ain't going nowhere. Waiting for the right time. That's what it is. Waiting for the right time. I wonder if any of these um, satellite channels playing any of these Christmas classics. I'm just wondering. I know that, um, what is it, Element? One of them playing holiday movies. All the, what about 29 Days of Christmas? That's still going on, right? Or ABC Family? Let's check it out. Twenty nine days to Christmas, ABC Family, two thousand nineteen. Let's check it out. Twenty five days. See, told you, they still got that going on. You don't hear nothing about this shit, though. You just, you just, no, you don't hear nothing about it. It's just amazing. You just don't hear shit about it. Oh, they call it Freeform. So that's a new um, channel. Freeform. I never heard of Freeform. So they got it. So ABC Family is what? I don't wait a minute, let me find out something here. What's free form? Why is it a black man sitting up there great what the fuck? Free form hold on for a minute guys, let me put this let me find out, hold on. What? ABC Family is now Freeform? What's ABC Freeform? According to Wikipedia, on October 6, 2015, Disney ABC Television Group announced that ABC Family would be rebranded as Freeform. Get the fuck out of here since 2015? Jesus Christ, dude. Why do they call it freeform? I don't understand that. It says that freeform was intended to re represent how becomers are in the formation of their lives and that the brand would reflect are, are a particularly experience, a particular ticupatory experience for viewers across multiple platforms. What the fuck does that mean? What is that talk? What the fuck is that? I think that's Jewish. Axiom explained. That's a Jewish name. That free, Axiom explained that freeform was intended to represent how becomers are in the formation of their lives, and that the brand will reflect a particular pictorial experience for viewers across multiple platforms. I still don't. Understand, I don't still don't know what the fuck they. Do. Okay. 
2015 they started this. Okay, so AB so 25 Days of Christmas is on free form then. Okay, well. Oh well, bye bye ABC family. There's no more ABC family then. Well, that was a good um. ABC Family was pretty good. Oh well, goodbye ABC Family. Oh well, another one bites the dust. Another one is on. Another is okay. All right. <clears throat> that was free for. No more ABC Family. Okay. Yeah, that sounds too loving any fucking way. It sounds too. Yeah, you know they get rid of shit like that. Family shit, yeah, yeah. Okay. Too loving. Sound too loving any fucking way. Alright. Well, they still got 25 days of Christmas on there. But it's on the free form. So, what if you still had the ABC Family bag? Remember that bag? ABC Family uh, shopping bag? What if you still had that? It's garbage, man. I don't mean shit. Oh, well. Could be worse, I suppose. Could be worse. Everything's changed. Everything's changed. Now we got no more ABC family, huh? We used to love that fucking thing, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, now, uh, there's no more now. It says 2015 now. That's an awfully long fucking time. Okay. Nothing lasts forever. Like on RBT, we have commercials that we we have Rashid commercials that been around since I don't know how they ain't going no fucking way. I mean, I don't you know we ain't get rid of our commercials. Just okay, we might get new commercials now, but our old ones ain't going nowhere unless it's a change in a merchandise or something like that. Then we can't help but change it. So it's understandable if you you know we gotta change the commercial because of a franchise fuck up or something is not in progress no more. It's okay we gotta change the RBT commercial. Other than that we ain't change. I, I see my station we ain't changing nothing, dude. Not a damn. Mm. Well, first of all our shit is spiritual. Second of all it's retro, and I and there's no need to change RBT. There's no need. No, there's no need. There's no need. There's never ever going to be a need. Never. Never. It's just that when you do stuff like that, they got to, these corporations, these stations have to understand that they're fucking with people's memories and experiences and, and it's a part of people's lives and they just watch ABC Family and, and they, when they do stuff like that, they smashing people's lives. They they really wreak nothing. I don't even want to fucking talk. I don't even want to talk. I don't even want to. Nobody gives a shit. It's all about the money. That's all that counts. Let me be quiet. This just pisses me off. Well, don't look for RBT to change, guys, because you're wasting your time. And shit changing around no damn RBT. Nothing. 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 Yeah, it's, it's just, you know, when, when, and even in families. 
even in families, you wonder why shit got to change. I know the kids grow older. I'm talking a relationship between the kids. You know, that's moms. In my case, that was my mo- my ex-mother's daughter. She wanted us to all hate each other and shit. We got, she was a sick ass bitch. But, but, but as kids, your brothers and sisters, the way you are as a child, y'all supposed to be close when you get older, right? But that's not the case. You know, you change. It just pisses you off. The shit change. Why shit got to change? It, you know, everything ain't got to be like a fucking TV show either. When you like go see like the Waltons the 25 years later or something like that. And everybody just getting a lot. It ain't got to be like that. But it doesn't have to go nowhere. Or, or get worse. Like, oh, now we hating each other now. When the fuck did this happen? When we was younger, we never hated each other. But now we're older, now we hate each other. What the fuck is this? It's just, life is just so, it gets you under your skin when things change. That nothing has to change. It's a change. Thing. And, the, and the creepy thing about that, yeah, the creepy thing about that is that man is scared of change. See, man only scared, only, man only fears what he don't understand. Any mature person realizes that. He only fears what he don't understand. So, it, it's aside from that. It's to change. Man is scared of change also. He's just scared to change. Especially when you get a certain age. Especially when you get a certain age. You know, it's just change. Man is afraid of change. You got certain things on this planet that goes on and on and on. So it can be done that things can stay the same. Even though things get older, it can still stay the same. I'm not talking about like, because there's no such thing as a phone book, no more yellow page phone book. There's no such thing as that no more because of social media. I ain't talking about shit like that. <clears throat> and even if it is, it ain't the same no more. I'm talking this change bullshit. You ain't got, if something's not broken, then why the fuck you fucking with it? You see the point? And that ABC family, that was something really special. It was really something special, dude. It was. Whether they know it or not, it was. And they fucked it up. They fucked it up. Everybody want to be cool with social media words and shit. They are free for Like, everybody want to get in this social media fancy ass shit. Mm. You screwed it up, dude. You just screwed it up. Big Bird is dead. Big Bird is dead. So now we have Charlie Brown is dead. And now Big Bird, the guy who operated Big Bird on Sesame Street, is dead. He just died a couple days ago, right? Something like that. So now Big Bird is dead. <clears throat> you can change shit, but you can't tell people what's going on in the world today in the world of entertainment. There's no more Big Bird no more. I mean, it's, it's going to be Big Bird on Sesame Street, but it's going to be a different person. Because he's dead. Big Bird is dead. Alpha's dead. Alpha's dead. Like, how I am? Well, <laughs> you get the <laughs> Well, you get the, we get the, y'all guys ain't on here, so. The hell are you? Okay. But you can't really, you know, like.
I'm not talking about changing somebody's diet. In other words. But it's just amazing how man is scared to change, but he's changed to fuck shit up. There's no more ABC family. I don't believe it. Hard to believe. Boy, this holiday season, something. We just found out that it is no more ABC fucking family and shit right on the air. Right on the goddamn air. It's like this is a myth for this holiday season to be fucked up. What what the hell going on here, dude? And the people with Netflix and all this and, and, and satellite TV probably knew this shit already. And they heard us talking about ABC family a couple of fucking years ago. Think anybody would tell us? Nope. They ain't gonna tell about she shit. Well, I tell you, boy, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Better than what they say. Somebody better than sliced bread, dude. Swear to God. Oh well. You can't ask for much, but you just I keep asking. Yeah, you can't ask for much, just keep fucking asking. Yeah. God. Nothing like a good camera, you know? I always been in the cameras, dude. Yeah, that one of my that camera I had, I used to bring to work with me. I don't, I still don't even know where I got that from. I still don't know where I got, I still don't know, don't know where I got that camera from. I used to love the fuck out of it. Now we have it on our cell phone, you yeah. know. I still don't know where I got the camera from. Still don't know. As long as y'all subscribe to me, because I'm going to do something for you guys. And. I don't know about that, give me a thumbs up and all that shit, I don't know about that. And I really don't care about it, I don't, that don't bother me. <clears throat> you subscribe to me, I could do something for us later on. And I didn't lie to you, I never lied to you, and I'm not going to start now. No. Later on when the time is right, I'm going to do something for us, man. Because I really appreciate y'all subscribing to me, my Rashid B's out there. A lot of people never had nothing all their life until they came on social media. Then they got something. <clears throat> but they won't tell you that. Maybe they'll make you think that they always had a good life or whatever. I'm not me, dude. I'm going to tell you the truth. You know. I had friends, I had the most wildest times of my life, and I had this and that and every kind of fucking shit, but for somebody to go out their way, strangers, to say I like my shit and I subscribe, I never had no kind of mechanism like this, and it's very impressive, and it makes me, it makes me feel a certain way, and I think I owe you guys for that. And that's the reason that I'm going to do something else later on. That's why I want you to subscribe to me. I really appreciate that. I really do. I really, really do, guys. I feel as though I owe y'all right back with some encouraging words. 
Rather than y'all subscribe to me now, it's entertainment, entertainment, entertainment. No, it doesn't work that way. It takes me a while to make this entertainment, you know. So within the process, we can just hang out and get to know each other. Seems like a done deal to me, you know. Express how we really feel about shit, you know what I'm saying? This holiday season is just ridiculously crazy, you know, you know. Now we find out, you know, goddamn ABC family. <laughs> the hell going on around here, man? We gonna miss that, you know? ABC family was a rush. That was all the shit. I was how DC and... We gonna miss that, though. Oh wow. Well. Yeah, the funny thing about ABC Family, when you first heard about it, you was like, what kind of fucking shit is, what the hell is ABC Family? What the hell? But then you get used to it, you know, you got accustomed to it. And now it's gone, and you're never going to see it again. Wow, you're never going to see it again. It's going for good. You're never going to see it again. Well, what are you going to do? Because it's going and, and um, I think that's it. It, it, it did its job. Now it's gone. So. I don't know what the, I really don't know what to say about it. I really, it's just a shocker. That it's just gone. Jesus. And like Anne and Nicole. This is going quick as it came. Like the theme song for Anne and Nicole. It all disappears just as quick as you can. Jesus Christ, dude. I mean. Oh, wow. So now we got free fall. Well, now, yeah, now they got free fall because we ain't got satellite TV, so. I'll tell you what we could do. Let's listen. Let's look at our database. And look at our, um,. Let's see. Let me see. Twenty-five days. <laughs> Christmas. I just can't believe it's going. I just can't believe that shit going. Maybe they like Freeform. Yeah, I never thought about that. Maybe they like it. And we're late. Hey, we the ones that's late. Let's just look back at it. Yeah, let's just look back at it and just enjoy ourselves like that. Card sending. So when I find something that saves me time, I go for it. Let's just look back at it and just be thankful that we got to know what it was, you know? 
You know, it, just be happy. is a good time period. It's good to dart back and just look at it. Trusting that same voice when you hear that voice in advertisement now? It's not my fault you believe me. That's what you get for believing me. <laughs> oh, wow. Goddamn shame. So when you hear this voice again, don't believe me. Dumbasses. <laughs> oh well. I guess it's safe to say we could just, um, you could bury it. was a hit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was a hit. It ain't like it went it fell by the wayside. The shit was a hit. Now they have this free form Oh wow. Well. What the hell? What are you gonna do? There's no more. They got rid of it. There's no more. Oliver Twist say, hey, can I have some more? And there's no more. No more. Understand that? No more. 
Договоры. О, вау. No more ABC family. And it's all your fault. I know who am I talking to. Like, hey, my fault. <laughs> oh, well. No more. No more. No more, 25. No more! No more! Now they got free! Free farming! Now they got free! Free for it's called free farming. Farming now is free farming. ABC family shut down and they switched a name to free farming as quick as they came. Now they're free. Oh, it's free for now they're free farming. Now they're free farming. Would you believe that shit? They call themselves free form. Well, I gotta play this this right here because this is RVT. <laughs> this is RVT and uh, we never got to worry about changing around we never ever 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 got to worry about changing around RVT it's always 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 stay the same just like this song dude Never got to worry about changing, dude. <clears throat> never, never. Ain't that some shit? They fucking fucked it up. They fucked it up. It's a shame. It's a damn shame, dude. That's RVT, dude. Some things that will never change. That's just right around here. Never, ever, 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 ever change. You can bet your sweet ass on that. We ain't changing shit. I guess that's why nobody likes us now. <laughs> Get your old fashioned ass the fuck out of here. And I say, free ride. Good night.
Never change them out here. It's not like I can't deal with change. I'm an adult for Christ's sake. I could deal with change. I just I just can't deal with fuck ups. You know what I'm saying? That's the part I can't deal with. It's the difference between changing something and it's, and fucking up something. You know what I mean? The big difference between the two. And when you take something that don't need to be touched and you fuck it up, well... It gets to you, you know. That meant something to a lot of people. That that really meant something to a lot of motherfuckers the ABC family thing. And they just... Throw it away like that. Like it's just garbage. They just throw it away. We're going to just change our name. Now they're going to get people's opinion on the fucking matter. I mean, my God. My God. Don't you want to hear what people got to say about it? Take a vote or something, for Christ's sake. Now the people just got to go. Yeah, the people got to go with this shit. I mean, God damn. Now it's free for us. Good thing we ain't watching. We ain't watching. We ain't, no. Fuck that. No. Nope. So, do this free for us still play family material like ABC Family did? Now this free for them, they can put anything up on it. So, family, so that's one less family station for family set. Think about it. They can just put anything up there. It's not ABC Family no more. They ain't got to put... Le- you know how ABC Family had a family flavor to it? So they got rid of the... Fr- so, oh, that's less sta- less family station we have. Oh, that's, oh, oh, that's good. That's what the world needs. More monkeys and shit. Okay, I think. I think. More monkeys. Okay. Can't have another, another, enough monkeys around this motherfucker. I do. I understand. I understand. I understand. Maybe they do still play fair. I don't know. We, we That's the point. We don't know. We don't have it. We don't know. We're going to miss ABC family, dude. We're going to miss it. going to miss it, dude. Like Channel 48 in Philadelphia. Now, you know, they closed down a station that's really big. That's really fucking huge. And when they closed down Channel 48 in Philadelphia, that was really huge, man. All the kids was like, what the fuck are you doing? All the children was like that in Philadelphia. When you closed down Channel 48, all the children, I don't give a fuck who it was. When you close down a whole station, that's powerful shit. Oh well. Can't complain, I guess. You can't complain. You can't complain. Could be worse, I suppose. Sure. 
I always say that because it, every, no matter what happens in this world, it could be worse. It could fucking be worse. You know? There wasn't a man that had no feet that he met a man that had no socks. There wasn't a man that had no... You know, once was a man that had no socks because he met a man that had no feet. Some shit like, you know. Listen to the nursery rhymes and shit. It's all in there. It'll be worse. Jesus Christ. This ABC family, I like that. That nice family shit. And people listening to me say, Rashi, I know you missed that. I know. Is that right? It was, I really, we really watched it in the morning time, right? Yeah, we watched it. They had a nice morning setup in the early 2000s. They had a nice morning setup. Wow. I mean, that whole era of America's whole funny home videos with Bob Saget and all of that family flavor shit, and they destroyed the fuck out of it. Then they just closed down Fuller House. I mean, they constantly destroying the fuck out of that shit. Dude. I don't think America have nothing like that no more, you know? They put Carlton up there to host America's Funny Home. The, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air Carlton dancing motherfucker. The guy the judge threw him out the courtroom when he tried to see he wanted to own that dance and they threw him out the courtroom. That Carlton motherfucker. Okay, he 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 hosts um the America Funny Home videos. He hosted and changed every fucking thing. Fucked it up there too without the Bob Saget. And, and that ABC Family shit was kind of had that flavor, you know, that American family. It just destroyed all of them. And now they just um, shut down Fuller House. That's over with now. But Fuller House is over with from the beginning because that shit on Netflix, right? Well, there you go. You know, you got to have shit on TV for it to be something. But we got no TV set no more. That's what I said. Everything, everything is just... Mm. If this how they want they shit, we gonna mind our business around here. We gonna mind our damn business. But it just don't make no damn sense that you fucking up good shit like that. It just don't make no sense. Everybody want to want things back the way they was, and they, we going further away from the motherfucker. You know, we ain't going nowhere near the way things used to be. Then again, remember when we talked about Armageddon and everything? Don't no expect. See now we at the yo-yo. See now we look at this shit. See what I'm talking about? We just we just defeating ourselves. Now we at the bottom of the yo-yo. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah, whoever thought we would be here. But it gets to you, you know, like it gets to you. Whoever thought we'd be at the bottom of the yo-yo now. <clears throat> it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. That's amazing, Rocky! Hey, who said my name? I thought of you, Rocky. Don't say my name. If I see you over here crying and say, hey, ABC family, I'm a boy. I don't care. I don't care about the Oh, 20 days, 22 days of Christmas. Da 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 da. 
That shit don't mean nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? It don't mean nothing to me. I'm going to the ring. I'll fight. and get busted in the face. It's the only thing that matters to me. I don't care about 23 days, 24 days. It's Christmas. That's it. You start complaining and you don't like it. Leave the country. <laughs> Leave the country! You don't like it. Get a ticket, get a boat, whatever, and leave. But that what they want to do around here. To change this shit, that's what they want to do. Stop the bitching. Right? This is the street out here now. Everybody want to be black people? Then so what? You ain't leave. That's it. Okay, alright, Rock. Alright. You're right. You don't like it? Get your shit on the boat and get out. Run out of airplane. Because the airplane might crash. You don't want to die, do you? You want to die? No, I want to die. You don't want to die? No, I don't want to die. Then don't take airplane. Go to the boat. I know. My ancestors, we found this motherfucker. So don't take an airplane. Take a boat. You don't really let me in America, ABC family. Uh, uh, what is that? Free Fork is Free for Color Fork. It ain't Color Fork. They changed the name to Free Fork. Free Fork. You don't like it? Me and Cush! Wow. <laughs> Guys, I'll talk to y'all later, alright? You don't like it? What do I do? I'll talk to y'all later. What do I do? If you don't like it, me and